Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you how I make up these little handbags. This is the Tonic Kensington. And quite I only put a pattern on one side and on the second side I'll put the initials of the person um, that's receiving it. It's a great little bag. You can get the little sweeties, uh, individual sweeties in there. And it's just something nice. I've given it in the past for teacher presents or I've given it to a colleague, just left a little bag with some chocolates in it on her desk. And uh, so it's a really nice thing to have. Um, and I do think as teacher gifts are just a little minding. That's what we call it in Scotland, a minding, just a wee something to say hello and remember you by, um, just to say I'm thinking of you sort of thing. So I've cut the pieces out and let me just get the basics together. So we have got all the folds are embossed with the die. And so we just want to fold and burnish the score lines initially. Now this bag has got a fold up the middle. It's like a Y fold. And so you just need to try and uh, bend it at the Y fold. It doesn't need to be an actual sort of big crease, but that is what will bend at the side of the bag here. The Y is at the bottom. So that's that one. And then we've got this one. And for this, I'm just going to use some tape. It's just as easy to do that. Um, to use the tape, put it together. And again, we just want to be able to fold a little bit at the Y so that it will give in the right direction when it comes to putting it together. So we've cut two of everything here. Okay. Now, I've got some thin tape here that we can use here. I started thinking about how we, what I can do for Christmas and um, whether it's stocking fillers or little gifts, you know, that we might give people that we wouldn't normally give a, a sort of full Christmas present to, but just a little something. So um, that's why I was looking out some of my construction buys. The, I've got a couple of boxes um, and so I thought I might just remind myself now. Let me remind myself. So, poke your tool. This goes on there. And then the other side attaches to the other side of the handbag, there, and then it all joins together. Make sure that you have the flaps at the bottom because uh, you want to have a good reinforced 
base, especially if you're putting something in it. So here we go, fourth side. And uh, 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 that's it. Put my finger in and press that down. Now this one, I like to have the one flap, then the side flaps, and then the bottom flap so that you, you've got a solid flap at both bottom and top. So for this, I am just going to use some glue to secure these flaps. So first of all, on the two sides, this glue is trying my patience today. Two side flaps so that goes onto the inside and then this big flap goes on the bottom and should hold them all in place nice and neat okay so there's your basic box structure I'm going to let that dry over to the side now, one of the things that I wanted to show you was the cutting an intricate die inside a poly pocket. I had been looking before at the cut and tidies and somebody had said this is better because they're so cheap and cheerful. So I have done this in a poly pocket. What I find is that it's quieter. I've got a big shot and um, it certainly... It doesn't crackle uh, as much as it would otherwise and so I wanted to see how cleanly it would come out because previously it's been amazingly successful in how clean the cut is um, and it holds all the pieces in place so that you're not getting them all over the place uh, which is what normally happens with intricate dies. Look at that. That has come out perfectly. We have got one in there that hasn't come out. So I'm going to leave that in there so that I don't get all these pieces all over the place. Let's try this one. Oh no, it hasn't cut. So I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to have to run that through again because it has not cut and I can see that. I maybe need to fold it, put an extra shin in there. Two sets and much better you can see it quite clearly it's cut through now let's see how cleanly it com comes off the die isn't that fab that is not bad at all now, I have never done paper piecing, so guys, you'll have to tell me if it's advantageous for you to have the pieces remain in there for paper piecing. Um, I don't know. I think it's great that it doesn't go everywhere, um, which is my normal state of affairs. So now, I'm just going to put a big dot of glue, if I can get such a thing out of this bottle on the side there and just put some glue on 
Oh. I have got a Xyron. I've never used it. I keep meaning to. But I don't think this would go through it. It's quite a small one. I think it might be the smallest Xyron machine. However, I also have a glue eraser. And believe you me, I use it frequently. Especially on things like this, where you've got the black card and you want the mirror card to not have smudges on it. I know it dries clear, but honestly, I don't want it to have all the glue all over the place. used to put the glue on the back of my hand. I don't know if it did any good or any harm. But it's just to get it covered. What I'll do next time maybe is try the double-sided sticky sheets, which I have also. And um, last time I tried them, it wasn't successful, so I need to try it again. It might be interesting if I do that within the Polly Pocket to see if it makes a difference with the clean cut. Um, there we go. That will dry clear. And I will take my uh, glue eraser over it. So all that remains now is for us to stick on the handles and don't do what I did the first time, and that was put both the handles over. What you need to do is put both the handles onto, both ends of the handle onto one side. Like so. Because if you hook them over, you can't get in to the bag to get your stuff, your goodies out. this side that I want the glue on and this side and then the handles go on there and we just hold them down till it grips so this is just another you could have these as little table gifts if you do the bags in Christmas colours you could have a name and then put little dinner mints or something like that in it um, for Christmas for the ladies. You could try a different thing with the men. I don't know if you maybe have some tool dies or tool um, stickers. You might be able to make it look like a toolbox, perhaps. So that's it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Once you get the dies done, um, of course the glue is a mess, but that's just because that's what I do. As I say, I'll get it all cleaned up later. And normally for the top, I would just use a glue dot to uh, keep hold the top together until it was uh, ready to be opened. Um, but that's what I would do. So. That's today's make. I hope you like it and please feel free to comment and share. Let me know what you think about the Polly Pocket in the die cutting machine because that is really good. I just need to poke all these ones out or use my brush. But yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to comment, like and share and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.